Way to go, man. That was great, wasn't it? It was fun. It was, it was definitely fun, and uh, it, was, it, it was really good for our guys. But, uh, you know, I told them in the locker room, they've stayed the course every single day in practice and really worked as hard as they can, and good things happen to good people, and we got good people in that locker room, and it's, uh, it's a huge win for us. They, they, they did exactly what we wanted to in our game plan and uh, decided to really defend towards the end, and uh, besides that little stretch where they got all the free throws, but, uh, you know, they really guarded, and it, it paid off. When we finished the UAB interview a week and a half ago, you and I talked about even though you got beat by 20, there were a ton of positive things that happened. You carried that over to Middle Tennessee. Dan was telling us in our pregame visit today how great practice has been the last couple of days. And if we play that way, well, good things will happen. And it's all kind of crescending here at the end, a big build up to get a win against a, a, a pretty good school that will probably finish in the top half of the league. Yeah, but we plan on finishing the top half as well. You know, we, obviously we got off to a slow start, but, uh, yeah, they're very good. And Coach Floyd is one heck of a coach. There's no doubt about that. And uh, I was even scared to call that time out late because he, <laughs> uh, he can draw some, so many things up. But uh, it is what it is, man. I mean, we're just, we, we, we keep preaching that in our locker room, just stay the course and uh, keep doing the right things and play right. And, and do what you got to do. So, uh, you know, we're, we're excited. They're excited. That's an excited run, Roadrunner locker room and in now, there right and now. And now you got some confidence, and you can carry that over, hopefully. That's the key. Winning, winning breeds great things. Losing breeds bad things. We all know that. And uh, that's why I'm so proud of that group because, you know, they haven't had a whole lot of success. And uh, their inexperience is starting to become some experience. We did some good things down the stretch to win and play to win instead of play not to lose. And it's... Uh, it's a good day for the Roadrunners. Christian Wilson, 25, and he played 39 minutes, and he just laid it on the line on every play. Yeah, no, he's he's he wants to be great, and he's just got to keep keep learning the game and keep maturing, and and he's doing that. I tell him every day that he's got to be an everyday guy, not a sometimes guy, an everyday guy, and uh, I think it's it, it's sinking into his head. Uh, a couple other guys I want to mention: Lucas O'Brien. He's outweighed. He's the other guys are bigger than he is, but he stands in there and takes all the bumps and bruises and probably needs an ice bath or two before this is all over with, but he continues just to get better and better. Well, he'll definitely take advantage of that ice bath. I promise <laughs> you that, but uh, I'm proud of Lucas. He's, he's another one that just keeps getting better every day. You know, I never thought that uh, he'd be able to do the things that he's doing, but it, it, that just comes with experience and maturity and, uh, and high IQ, you know, so, but, but I'm, He's just playing great for us right now. He's doing some things that he is getting out. You know, he's out muscled uh, most of the time, but he's really and, and more playing against more athletic guys. But he's he, he's doing what he what he needs to do, and he's doing a great job down there. And Nick Allen didn't play until the second half, but he was huge for you guys. Huge, huge. And I I looked at myself at halftime. Well, thought to myself at halftime, why didn't I play him? You know. Yeah. But Philip did some good things, sure. and uh, he brought some athleticism to us, and, and we were playing well with Phillips. So. Uh, I told Nick at halftime to, to be ready, and he, and he stepped up to the challenge. Congratulations on the win. We'll look forward to the Florida schools coming to town next week. Look forward to it. Thanks so much, Andy. All right, that's Brooks Thompson with us on our postgame show. Christian Wilson standing by. We'll put the headset on him here uh, shortly and get uh, some of his thoughts in the game. He gets a hug and a high five from, uh, from Brooks Thompson, and we'll talk with Christian about today's win. Congratulations, career high 25, but more importantly, it's a W. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what it's about, you know, coming together as a team and putting together these practices and getting wins. You're not uh, going to worry about fatigue, are you, playing 39 minutes a game? Could, no. could you have played 49 if you needed to? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If coach needed me to play 49, you know, I, I'm going to play 49. I, I actually stayed extra in practice and, you know, ran some more sprints so that, you know, fatigue wouldn't play a factor. You got just a little bit of a break around the eight-minute mark in the first half, and then uh, that was all you needed just to kind of recharge the batteries, and I don't think he could have pride you out of the lineup in the second half. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, um, you know I knew he was going to, you know, this game he was going to give me, a, you know, a decent break. So, you know, I knew when he gave it to me, you know, use it wisely, you know, and when he called my name again, be ready to go. And you uh, talk, we were talking a, a few pregame shows ago about you're not foul prone normally. And you mm -hmm. were in a couple of games, but the last two mm -hmm. where Gino's not there and you know you got to stay on the floor, you mm -hmm. stayed out of foul trouble. Yes, sir. It's, it's really, you know, comes down to me staying solid on defense and staying disciplined. You know, it's a mental thing, you know, just stay mentally tough in the game and know, you know, the aspects and, you know, the situation. So, you know, I just try to do my best of that, you know, until I can stay on the floor and be the leader of the team. You got a W. That's the most important thing, and that makes for a, a much better practice next week, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we 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 excited about the W. You know, and like Coach T say, you know, that's just one. You know, it's time to add them up. All right, congratulations, man.
Appreciate That's Christian Wilson with us on the uh, post-game report. We'll come back with more in a moment. This is Roadrunner Basketball from Learfield Sports.